Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen my videos before, you know I've done lots of videos that are glue related. And every time I make one of these videos, without fail, 10 to 15 people will comment and say that I should be using a clamp while the glue dries. And honestly, if you ask anybody, they would probably say that using a clamp is going to make the bond stronger. But me being who I am as a person, I don't believe that and that's why I never use a clamp. One, because I'm too lazy to use a clamp, and two, because I just don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing all five of these glues, clamped versus unclamped, and see if using a clamp actually makes a difference. The five glues that I've chosen for this test are Elmer's glue, which is probably going to be the strongest out of all of them, liquid nails, Gorilla Construction Adhesive, Gorilla Wood Glue, and Flex Glue. Now on a serious note, I think the Gorilla Wood Glue is probably going to do the best since we are using wood blocks for our test. But what we're going to do is I have four cubes that are all the same size for each glue. And of course I'm going to put the same amount of glue on each one and then stack them on top of each other. And then one will be clamped, one will be unclamped, and I will do that for all five of these glues. And then once they're dry, we'll I'll use my crane scale and pull them apart and we'll see the weight difference that it takes to pull the one that was clamped versus the one that was unclamped and we'll see if using a clamp makes any real difference. I honestly don't think it's going to, but that's why we're here to test. Let's get started. We have everything clamped down. Now the only thing left for us to do is to wait 24 hours and we're going to come back and test it. Alright guys, all of our glue has had 24 hours to dry. Now the only thing left to do is to put our paracord through the holes on our wood blocks, set up the crane scale, and see how much weight it takes to break each one. Alright guys, I have everything hooked up. I have the hoist and the crane scale. I have our blocks right here. I have 350 pounds of weight. And the first blocks that we're going to be testing is the Elmer's glue that was not clamped. Here we go. So, 
for the unclamped Elmer's glue, it is 43 pounds. Not too bad. Honestly, a lot more than what I expected. And now for the Elmer's glue that was clamped, let's see if it can break 43 pounds. So with it being clamped, 130 pounds. Now that is quite a bit of difference. So basically it held three times as much being clamped versus being unclamped. So, so far I might be wrong about using clamps. And now we have the blocks that were glued together with liquid nails. This is the unclamped one. See how much that takes. was 190 pounds unclamped now for the liquid nails that have been clamped Things falling out of the ceiling. Two hundred and eighty-three pounds. So every one that has been clamped has been consistently doing better than the ones that were unclamped. So I'm starting to think I might have been wrong on this one. Now we have the Gorilla Construction Adhesive that was unclamped. So unclamped, 34 pounds. Now for the one that was clamped. Eighty nine pounds. So so far that has been very consistent with every glue that has been clamped performing better than the unclamped version. Now let's move on to the Gorilla Wood Glue. Now we have the Gorilla Wood Glue, and as always, we're doing the one that was unclamped first. Unclamped, 282 pounds. Now we have the Gorilla Wood Glue that was clamped. And it only did 191 pounds. So that's kind of odd that that glue would have been the only one to do worse being clamped. I would have thought if any of them, that one would be the one that would do the best being clamped. Now let's move on to the flex glue. Now it's time for our final glue, the flex glue unclamped. Unclamped, it did 209 pounds. Now it's time for our final one, the clamped flex glue. And clamped, it did 229 pounds. 
So I'm sure many of you like me are wondering why every glue performs significantly better being clamped versus unclamped except for the Gorilla Wood Glue. And after I was walking around the garage, I found this. The block from the Gorilla Wood Glue had broken. And after looking at it, I see that I had made a mistake and when I drilled the hole, I don't know if you can see that, I drilled the hole along the wood grain. So it just split once it got too much weight on it. So that is why that one did not perform as well being clamped versus being unclamped. So that was my fault, but I think we all get the picture of the trend of results of what was happening. Although I would have liked to seen how much more it would have lift when it was clamped. So in conclusion, it turns out that I was wrong. I was actually very wrong. Like I said in the beginning, I never thought that it would make a difference. And if it did make a difference, I figured that it would make such an insignificant difference that it wouldn't even be worth your time to get the clamp and use it. But as you guys saw, most of the glues, if not every single one of them did more than double, some of them did triple just by being clamped versus being unclamped, which is a massive difference. So that goes to show you always use a clamp. I hope you guys learned something. I know I did. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.